Hey, I'm Ubi and I Brick, and welcome to our first quarterly modular raffle. So, those that may not know, I went out and purchased a bunch of modulars with the expressed or with the express purpose of giving them to you. So, what we've done is we've put one raffle ticket inside every single domestic order on Bricklink for the past three months. And basically, if you've got it, and you were told to hold on to it in a video on my channel, you knew that you would be able to have a chance at winning the detective's office. One brand spanking new detective's office. Right here. So I've put the first number and the last number into random.org. Uh, we're going to be drawing a random number from there, and the person who has the winning number will have one month to get me their ticket, which means on you, you're going to have to mail me your ticket. This is because uh, I don't want any unfair play and anybody doing any conniving crap. Um, for you buyers and viewers in Canada, You'll be happy to know that for the Parisian, which is the raffle that started today, which will also go for three months, everyone in Canada and the United States are included in those options. So I decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna take on the extra load of shipping to Canada and the extra cost for that because we do have so many Canadian uh, purchasers, buyers, friends, peeps. So. There you go. Uh, we've got a couple few people in the audience today. I just got back from a Penlug meeting. So I'm just sort of threw this up there. I knew that there was a lot of folks that were sort of, we got a lot of messages. Hey, when are you gonna do the, uh, when are you gonna do the raffle? So I knew that, uh, I knew that there was people that were paying attention to it and folks that really wanted to make sure that it was gonna happen today. So there you go. Um, like to say hey to Ralph De Brule, Hoosier Bricks, both of them active in the chat. If anybody else is currently watching and wants their name shouted out on the internet, let me know. But I'm going to take a pause here before we do break. All right, that portion of our show is brought to you by Mountain Dew. All right. I guess uh, I can't really draw this out anymore. I don't know how to how to draw it out and get the suspense going. I don't have any fancy models or anything like that, uh, and I'm not going to parade around in underwear because that would turn everyone off. So we will just go over to my sharing of a screen as soon as I find said screen. Got it. All right. Ah, excellent. All right. You should be seeing random.org on your screen. Here's the largest and smallest value. So it shows we had 445 domestic orders in the three month period. Uh, be forewarned. Probably get about the same during the next one. And if you really want to hedge your bets based upon when is my best time, uh, any time is because as the store grows, the number of purchases go up. So I guess uh, we will just get into it. All right. We're not going to do the one, two, three. It's just I hit the button and it goes. The top number that is listed is the one that is the winning number for this. Once again, if you do not claim your prize within one month, we will raffle this off again. And we will keep doing that during the three month period. If no one wins this on all three tries, this will roll over to being uh, raffled off with the Parisian which means that if no one claims this for three months, when it's time to draw for the Parisian, 
we will actually be drawing for the Parisian and the detective's office. The detective's office will stay out there for another three months. If for some reason no one claims this within a six-month period, it will be donated to a charity of my choice. Hope everybody's good with that. I figure if nobody claims this thing, y'all get six chances to win on it. Each and every modular that we will be raffling off, there will be six chances to get it if it goes unclaimed. That does not mean that we have six of them to raffle off. We have one of each. But if it goes unclaimed, it goes back out there and everyone gets their chance once again. So, save your tickets. All right? Save your tickets. Now, when if this rolls over all the way to the Parisian, tickets for the detective's office are not valid. You can throw them away at that point because that is when the Parisian tickets kick in. All right. Uh, Ralph says, uh, I doubt no one will claim it. However, that'd be good. That'd be for, that'd be for a good cause. Yeah, it, I just, I have to have a, um, a backup to the backup to the backup for the just in case. <laughs> Excuse me. As you know, some people don't care about stuff as far as auctions. People don't care about stuff as raffles or giveaways or freebies. Um, and I just have to take that into consideration because it would be very disappointing to a lot of people if I was going to raffle off a modular and then consistently nobody claimed it. And that's my biggest fear. That nobody wants this free Lego I'm trying to give away. All right. Uh, in the chat, if you guys are ready, please let me know you are ready with a drum roll. Pausing for dramatic effect, waiting for the drum rolls. I know somebody will do it. Yes, they will. Come on, I stretched this out for eight minutes. I can go for another couple. All right, talk to Haley. She's hosting tonight for the Saturday stream. Go check it out. On our marks. Get ready. Go. All right. Winning number. Five, four, five, zero, four, nine. Five, four, five, zero, four, nine. If you have the winning ticket, get with me. I'll get you an address to ship it off to, and uh, I will get it to you. It will be shipped out of box, all right? Out of box, unless for some reason you're in a very close area to me and it's just as cheap to ship it in the box. But large boxes like this, Historically, have a larger price to ship, and uh, since you're already getting some for free, I don't think that many people would really complain all that much. So, is anybody in the chat a winner? I don't know. It wasn't Hoosier, but he, had, he might have another chance in a month if no one claims this. Don't forget, hold those tickets. And... Keep your tickets for the detective's office separate than the ones for the Parisian and the ones that will follow. Okay, just my advice to you, keep your confusion cut down. All right. If you don't know how to get a ticket, as I said earlier in the program, every purchase in my store for domestic sales were given a raffle ticket. So part of the buy-in for the raffle is you would have made a purchase from my store. There's no buy-in limit, you can make a $1 purchase, you get a chance. You make a $1,000 purchase, you still get the one chance, all right? This is easy, even for everybody. So, there you go. That is it. That is all. Hope everybody enjoyed. Uh, and of course, you can write on them. Just don't go over what I've written on there. That's all. Ah, something secret that people don't know about is on each ticket. Hmm. Thanks, Jordan.